Hello people and welcome to my first episode of Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to do a kind of permadeath one, but I actually... Well, it's not going to stop if one dies. I've actually got a uh, burial service little mod that is pretty cool. So any time a Kerbal dies, uh, you have to wait and see I guess. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, the first episode we're going to go straight in and... We're not going to do a manned mission today, we're actually going to send up... Because this is our... I haven't done anything with it, by the way. I just, um, I built the... Our first... Part to our series. So yeah, this is going to be like a realistic space agency, um... Series. So the first thing we're doing... We should send up a satellite really first. But the first thing we're doing is sending up the Kubble telescope so we can monitor and view and just look at basically all the places we can visit and how yeah how we can go about it and things uh, the Kubble one there we go so let's load up the Kubble I would have gone through the build and everything but it would just drag out and I want as much time up in space with using it as possible because it would be more fun so yeah this is the couple this RCS thrust is um, pretty key to using this nicely it's a little mod called a uh, hydro gem it's like an RCS autopilot but we're not using it at all for that it's got a handy feature which means you can turn down your RCS thrust to whatever you want and it's very handy when you're zooming in miles, you know, millions of miles away. You know, the slightest little turn and you're out of focus, so turning the thrust right down is very handy indeed. So we can get a nice stable image if possible. It's quite hard though to do, you'll see. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and launch the couple. It's, this is the telescope. Oh, a little bit jittery there. Yeah, this is the telescope. Oh yeah, we're in 0.18.4 now. Uh, I just downloaded it today, the newest update it uses Unity 4, but uh, I haven't really noticed any difference to be honest. So yeah, we've got some modern propellant tanks here, I didn't want to use one to make it longer, so I just slapped them around. Uh, SAS unit to steady us, nuclear power, because I didn't want panels and whatnot on there. So yeah, we're using nuclear power to keep this baby going. Just four thrusters, a little tank with a poodle engine on, which is there. And then our launch system. Dual V rockets. Notice I don't use the big one if you actually know what this is. Just two of these is fine. Gets you anywhere you want with four solid boosters. You can get up and pretty much out of the um Kerbin system with this second stage. Uh, we're going to go ahead and launch now, we're going to go up to about I don't know 500 kilometers or maybe a thousand I'm not sure. I want to go quite high so we don't get obstructed by Kerbin so much, like too fast. So we have plenty of viewing time. So I'll see you on the launch.
Alright guys, so we're up nice and high now. Um, first thing we'll do is test that I set up the action routes correctly. So uh, I already deployed the panels, which is one. Number two should open the lid. There we go. Uh, first thing we do, test out the lens. We go. We look at curbing. Scan the desert for um, any archaeological dig sites we can uh, explore. Nah, but we'll just have a look down at Kerbin first. And you see I've got the precise control which is out of here. So we can get a minimal thrust rate so we can hold still easier but to stop moving first we will um, freeze the time there now our engage SAS number 3 should activate our camera and 4 and 5 is zooming in out ok so I'm not sure already. We, we probably won't get great terrain detail out of this. Yeah see I've gone right in now. Yeah and it's become blurry. So right let's just go ahead and look for some planets then. Right let's just check exactly where we are. If we go here and zoom out. So we can see anything inside. A uh, bad position for Elu. Although it wouldn't take a quick little spin. There we go. Alright, let's, let's have a look at Elu. Because that's the furthest we can get to and we can see. Let's uh, go back in. And point ourselves onto the target. Freeze. Uh, freeze. Just hold there a sec. While we... Is I got the lens cap open? No, <laughs> that would help, wouldn't it? There we go. Okay, so now we're zooming and we need to look for the twinkle guys. There'll be a twinkle around somewhere. I'm not seeing it at the moment. Let's um, engage this. Let's make sure we're directly on that point because. It's got to be very precise when we're this far out. Alright, zoom in a little more. Oh, was that a twinkle? I thought I saw a twinkle just to the left. But yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Eyes. So. Yeah. Let's zoom in. zoom in some more. Yep. Uh, look at that. See how far it is. Look how far this is. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that's on 0 0.1. This we need to tone our. Let's just tone this down a sec. Let's put it all the way down to 0 0.001. Engage. Oh, 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 don't do that to me. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Right. Let's try and get a... The problem is, though, when you're going really far away, you know, sometimes it jumps, and it, this far away, it'll jump right out of our screen. Look at that wobbling. I think we're going to get a good little shot here, I hope. 
Uh, it's hard to focus on. But there is Elu, guys and girls. Look at that scarred planet. Seen some hard times. Do you know what? I've never, I haven't even been there yet. I've been to every planet. I haven't been to all the moons, but I've been to every planet so far. Oh, see, we jumped there. Damn, this is hard to control. Alright, we're zoomed in as far as we can go, so that's as big as I'm gonna get it. So hard to control. Whoa, see, there was a big jump now, I don't know where we are. Alright. So, yeah, this is the Hubble. And this is the furthest thing we can see in the solar system, the Bola Kerbal, the Kerbal solar system. So their first mission was a success, and we found the furthest distant and discovered the furthest planet. So congratulations, Kerbal Space Agency! Your first mission was a success. On what we're going to do next mission. See, there's a glitch again. I pressed two to. Oh yeah, four, five, six, six, six <laughs> all right, seven, yeah, seven shuts it, <coughs> eight should close the panels, and the Hubble can sleep for a while, we won't be really using this anyway, I might use it just to get into a geosynchronous orbit at some point, because I've never done that either. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a froggy throat. So yeah, guys, that's it for this episode and the couple. I think next we'll uh, head to the moon. Why not? It's the first biggest step they can do is, apart from actually getting into orbit, but we'll skip that because that's easy. So we'll go to the moon land and we'll set up a little base there and we'll, we'll stay there for a while and then we'll build that station I was talking about so we'll build like a, a core vessel and then add habitat modules to it by docking them together and basically just build it up we'll add docking uh, a miner and a like a caffeine shuttle bus system so we'll send a miner down little mine and then we'll send the little rocket down to go collect it and bring it back up to the station so thanks for watching and I'll see you next video